everyone, so today I am going to be filming my makeup collection and storage plus a sneaky peek at my dressing table which I don't think I've shown properly in a vlog before but this has been a very highly requested one since I moved in the summer my storage has kind of changed slightly some of it is still the same but the layout is very different so I'm gonna run through that with you today we're going to be swapping this around and making this area look a little bit different so my makeup storage is going to change very soon and because I like it the way it is right now I thought that I would do this video today to kind of document that and show you how I've been storing things over kind of the past how long have I been living here the past nine months or something time flies so without rambling on too much more I am going to take you through kind of an overview of the dressing table area first and then I'm going to run you through makeup collection slash storage kind of scenarios no idea what I'm saying let's do this so this is the back wall of our bedroom and as you can see we've got some wardrobes either side of the dressing table and it's rather large it's kind of like a double dressing table area with a beautiful arch up the top here I love this when we saw this in the bedroom this was kind of the selling point for the flat we just completely wanted it and it just is so beautiful the shelves were already here when we moved in and I've just kind of decorated them quite simply and I'm going to start taking you through the makeup over here. These drawers are all from Muji except these ones which are from Homebase and on the top here I like to keep little Polaroids from uh, beauty events that I've been to and perfumes. So I have a couple from Bella Freud, so one here, one here. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. They've got the Corez um, Vanilla Lychee and Freesia, uh, Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I've then got some Body Butter by Niels Yard and a couple of Lush um, Lip Scrubs. So the first set of drawers here are kind of odds and sods, but mostly palettes. I've got my MAC palettes, Charlotte Tilbury, a couple of Clarins, one from Bobbi Brown, Urban Decay, Rimmel, and then there's a Clinique one under there. So that is where the main bulk of my palettes live. And then we have kind of loose eyeshadows and cream eyeshadows in the second drawer down, and then also a bronzer, and it's just kind of turned into a bit of an odds and sods drawer because I have got um, the Kevin O'Quinn sculpting powder in the back there as well, and I've also got another palette here. This drawer just seems to be turning into the overflow drawer, so I need to have a sort out of that, but for the main part it's loose eyeshadows. And then we have kind of bronzers and powders and a couple of highlighters in the third drawer down. But because everything is round it does get really hard to store things so I think I need a better method of storage for bronzers because it just takes up a whole drawer and it's massive. And then we have the mother load of all kind of bases for me. This is kind of all of my bases, I've got some primers in there, BB creams, tinted moisturisers, foundations. A bit of everything lives in here and this drawer is kind of overflowing, I can't always shut it properly. Thank god it shuts today or that would have been a bit embarrassing. So in here I've got YSL Touche Clat, Dr. Jart BB Cream, Kiehl's Primer, Estee Lauder CC Cream, Origins Vitasing SPF 15, uh, Tarte Full Coverage Amazonian Clay Foundation, um, YSL Youth Liberator Foundation which is so close to being demoted to the drawer I barely ever use it, L'Oreal True Match, Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream and then the Benefit kind of primary SPF thing that I really like. Oh god, we have a problem. Oh no. So we are now on the fifth drawer down and this is quite obviously blushes and then I've got a few highlighters in this drawer as well. This is another really tricky drawer because the blushes just come in loads of different shapes and sizes so it's hard to store things but I've got a few of the Tarte blushes, some of the Clinique cheek pops which you'll remember if you watched my last makeup storage video I showed them, Josie Moran watercolour cheek jelly, 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 don't know how to say it, Topshop Cream Highlighter in Head Over Heels, Wild About Beauty Blush, Rimmel Santa Rose, Laura Mercier Blush, Jouer Highlighter, Clinique Highlighter, these are new, this is so good. And then I've got a few NARS blushes back there, a NARS powder, and then a sleek lip balm which I use as a blush, oh yeah. 
And then we get down to the smaller drawers at the bottom, and these are both from Midi as well, they're just smaller ones and they fit perfectly under the larger drawers. In here I keep lipsticks that I just can't find a home for in the main lipstick hub which is over there. So in here I keep my MAC lipsticks, a few Clinique lipsticks, some Rimmel ones and a recently purchased Bourjois one. Um, I had to have a bit of a rejig because my lipsticks are just overflowing at the moment. If you want me to do like a MAC lipstick collection video or any kind of collection video let me know. I just don't want to overload this video with kind of products and things like that so let me know about that. And then we have the concealer and eyeliner drawer. I have no idea why they just end up living together, but they do. They fit quite nicely together apart from this one here, which is currently being a nuisance. But I just keep all of my concealers on this side and then all of my eyeliners on this side and a few lip liners as well that I don't really like and don't really keep out. So these drawers here are from Homebase and they are what I like to call the lip product hub because it's mostly lip products that are in this set of three drawers. And I just love keeping them all in here, I think they work really nicely, it's the perfect size because this set of drawers is actually slightly smaller. So in the top drawer here I keep a lot of Clarins and Clinique um, kind of lip crayons or cheek crayons, all of those kind of things just live together and I do that just because it looks very aesthetically pleasing. So the Clarins lip crayons are the ones with the gold tops and then I've got some of the Clinique baby tints which are very nice and then I've got the Clinique chubby sticks which I love and then there's just a random Erin lip gloss there because I don't know where to put it. And then in the second drawer down I have kind of drugstore lip crayons and liquid lipsticks. So I've got the Revlon Colorstay Moisture Stain, I've got the um, Color Burst Matte Balms by Revlon, I've got lots of those. And then I've got some of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers, I've got the matte ones and the general glossy ones. And this drawer is a bit of a pain because it doesn't like to shut. The third drawdown is my mascaras and I like to keep quite a lean book of mascaras. I don't really see the point in having a lot at one time because they just dry out so quickly. So I've got my Max Factor Full Slash Effect, Maybelline's Lash Sensational, um, Clarins Waterproof Mascara, I can't remember what it's called. And then I've got the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lashes as well and then a Clinique one over here which I barely ever use. And then we have the bottom drawer which is kind of like brow products, lash products, any kind of utensils, little extras, bobby pins, lash glue, all of those kind of things. They just live in that bottom drawer there and it's just the perfect size for throwing random things in. And then to the side I've got a few that I can't fit in there which are the Tiny Bear Everyday Flutter eyelashes which are lovely. So that is this storage area over here and that's what it looks like as a whole. There's a lot to get through, I feel like I'm quite out of breath now. And then we move over here. Over here I have my makeup bag which have all of my daily makeup things that I use in there. Apart from bases because I keep those over here, I have all of my brushes that I use on a daily basis in a Laura Mercier uh, candle jar. I have a mirror which I think is from BHS or somewhere like that, loads of home stores do them. And then I have a little kind of coaster this is actually the lid for this but I've always used it as like a coaster for drinks and for putting random things on so at the moment I have two nail varnishes that live on it this one is Topshop Stallion and this one is Oh Mr Darcy by Rimmel and over here I have Tom Ford Velvet Orchid which I love it's my favorite fragrance of all time and behind that I've got some Tom Ford lipsticks that are housed in a pretty box and then my Naked palette which I still love I raved about it in my last um makeup collection video and I still love it, it's lovely. And over here we have my home base um, kind of acrylic storage kind of thing. This basically now houses all of my base makeup that I use on a kind of daily rotation and then a few kind of luxury um, blush products and um, just a few other odds and sods and daily lipsticks that I use and things like that and then I've got a kind of little random drawer that I keep things in as well. So over here I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and then I have the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I've got a few Chanel foundations, I've got the Vitalumia Aqua and Perfection Lumia Velvet and then behind that I've got some NARS Multiples which I barely ever use but they just kind of live there because they don't live anywhere else. 
Then I've got NARS Sheer Glow, which I love and use very regularly. And behind that, I've got Estee Lauder Perfectionist Foundation, which I really like. So those are kind of foundation-y products there, apart from the two multiples at the back. And then we've got kind of like tinted moisturizers, my favorite primer, and kind of light bases over here. So I've got the Laura Mercier uh, tinted moisturizer. It's the oil-free one. And I have the shade Bisque at the moment. I need to get a new one because it's kind of too brown for me. The Dior Nude Skin BB Cream, which I love, and then the Dior Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer. By Terry Ombre Black Star Eyeshadow Stick in Bronze Moon. And then I've got the Perfect Look Skin Miracle by This Works, which I'm about to run out of sad, sad times. At the back I've got lots of brushes that I hardly ever use, they just don't come close to the ones I use on a daily basis. And then at the front here I have a couple of high-end blushes. I've got the Erin Multicolor for Lips and Cheeks and then the Hourglass um, blush in the shade Diffused Heat. This is actually really pretty, I'm going to show you. And then I have a new Tom Ford nail polish which I'm planning on putting on my nails because it just looks so pretty. And then some Clarins lip balm things, these are new and they are literally the best thing I've ever used. And then a Tom Ford mini lipstick, this is the shade Carey, love it, love it. It's kind of like a Kylie Jenner lip shade. Ooh. And then I have Crimson Noir by Tom Ford, I love that one as well. And then I've got the Clarins lip oil behind here. And then over here I just have a few kind of everyday essential things, obviously not the candle included, that is not an everyday essential, it just looks cute. I have my Diptyque candle jar that has some cotton buds in it, I do eyeliner on a daily basis and I need these at hand all the time to correct my mistakes. Then I've got Diptyque Vetiverio which is a very nice fresh kind of summery fragrance, I haven't used it in a while but when it gets a bit warmer I will definitely use that. And then I have the Omravitska Queen of Hungry Mist which I don't use every day but I just like it there in case I have like really cakey makeup and I want to kind of spray something on it to kind of make it look a bit more glowy and fresh or I just want to use it after I do my skincare routine. And then over here the good old kind of cotton pad holder which I use. I think you can find these in Burt's but I think Burt's is a Brighton only store so I'm not really sure where else you can get them but my boyfriend's uh, brother got it for me for a Christmas present a few years ago and it has been very well loved because I just decided to use it for my cotton bud holders. I think he was expecting tea and coffee, but no, cotton buds. And then to finish things off, we have my shelves. My shelves don't contain too many beauty items, but they do have a couple, so it's worth showing you. Plus it just looks super pretty and I worked for ages to find all the right things to put on this. So in case you're wondering, up the top I have an Ikea aloe vera plant in a metal kind of container. That's from Ikea as well. Then I have um, a little kind of hanging basket with a succulent in it, which is dying if you were wondering. I don't know how to keep it alive. I've been to the florist and they're just not sure, which is a bit worrying. I just don't know what I'm doing. But the hanging basket is from a company called Adorn and it's just a really lovely Etsy shop which make lots of kind of copper wire things. Then I have a random kind of hanging plant. I'm not sure what this is called and I think this one's slightly dying as well. I've been to the florist about this one a lot too. Um, this just comes in a little metal container which you can get from Ikea but I got mine from my local florist. And then we have the bottom shelf which contains some books. So I've got Girl Boss by Sophia Amoruso, um, Man Repeller by Leandra Medine, Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham and Pretty Honest by Sally Hughes, Eat Pretty and then just a notebook on the end. Then I have a little kind of basket thing from H&M, it's copper and it's just so pretty. I was keeping this in my bathroom but I was a bit scared that it would go rusty and it just looks perfect on my shelves anyway. I keep a lot of black items in it just because I think that looks really nice and I just keep a lot of my lip products in one of the empty jars that I keep in it just because then they're out and I don't forget to use them and they're lots of my favourites as well. So we have a lot of my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, some lip liners by MAC and Topshop. A lot of the Maybelline Colour Sensational lip glosses and then some Topshop like lip bullets and things like that. And then we have the last two ornaments on my shelf which are lovely. They are kind of candle related. This one is an actual candle on the inside. I think this is from Home Sense. And then this one over here is from Tiger and that has a little candle in there which I've never really used but I just think that it looks very, very cute. So that is it for my dressing table tour and makeup collection and storage video. I hope you guys liked this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you guys on Tuesday for a new vlog. Bye!